hello everyone you are welcome in this new video in this video i'm going to solve this nice algebraic math problem which is x plus y is equal to 5 and x times y is equal to 5 so here we will try to find some solution of this algebraic math problem now here first of all let us suppose this is equation number first and this is equation number second so from equation number first we can write Equation number first implies x plus y is equal to 5. Now here we will shift this x to the right hand side. So this equation will become y is equal to 5 minus x. Let us suppose this is equation number third. Now here we will substitute this value of y in this equation number second. So from that we will find the value of x. So equation number second implies equation number second is x times y is equal to 5. Now here we will replace this y with its value 5 minus x. So it will become x times y is 5 minus x is equal to 5. Now this whole equation is in terms of x. So from here we will find the roots of x. So let's multiply x inside the parenthesis. So it will become 5x minus x square is equal to 5. Now let us rearrange these terms and we will shape this 5 to the left hand side. So it will become minus x square plus 5x and it will become minus 5 is equal to 0. Here the coefficient of x square is negative so we will try to make it positive. Now to make it positive we will multiply minus 1 with both sides of this equation. So by multiplying this left hand side by minus 1 we will get it will become positive so it will become x square this one will become negative minus 5x and it will become positive plus 5 is equal to negative times 0 is 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. So here we will try to solve this quadratic equation using the quadratic formula because it cannot be solved by factorization method. So here the value of a is 1, the value of b is minus 5 and the value of c is plus 5. So the quadratic formula for the variable x is x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now let's substitute the values of a, b, c in this equation. So it will become is equal to the value of b is minus 5 plus minus square root of b square. The value of b is minus 5 minus 4ac. The value of a is 1 and the value of c is plus 5 divided by 2a. The value of a is 1. So next it will become negative time negative is positive plus minus square root of minus 5 square is 25 minus 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 5 is 20 divided by 2 times 1 is 2 so let's further simplify this equation so it will become 5 plus minus the root of 25 minus 20 is 5 divided by 2. Now there are two possible values of x in this equation. So the first value is x1 is 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And the second value is x2 
टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव माइनस रूट ऑफ फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो दीज आर द टू पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स नर वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड द करस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ वाई टू फाइंड द करस्पॉन्डिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ वाई वी विल सब्सिट्यूट दीज टू वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स इन इक्वेशन नंबर थर्ड इन दिस वन इक्वेशन सो वी विल फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ वाई हेयर सो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन नंबर थर्ड वाई इज इक्वल टू फाइव माइनस एक्स so the value of equation number third is y is equal to 5 minus x so y1 will become we will replace y with y1 is equal to 5 minus we will replace x with x1 now here we will substitute the value of x1 so it will become 5 minus the value of x1 is 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 now here we will take their lcm lcm of this number and this number so the lcm of 1 and 2 is 2 no dividing 2 by 1 gives him 2 we will multiply 2 with 5 here so multiplying 2 with 5 here now we will multiply this negative sign inside the parenthesis inside the numerator so it will become minus 5 and it will become minus square root of 5 so next it will become 2 times 5 is 10 minus 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 now 10 minus 5 is 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is the value of y1 now here we will try to find the value of y2 so to find the value of y2 we will substitute the value of x2 in this one equation so for y2 y2 will become y2 is equal to 5 minus x2 so here we will substitute the value of x2 so x2 will become 5 minus the value of x2 is 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 now again we will take the lcm of 1 and 2 that is 2 so dividing 2 by 1 gives him 2 we will multiply 2 with this 5 here so 2 times 5 is 10 Now we will multiply this negative sign inside this parenthesis in the numerator. So it will become minus five, and it will become plus square root of five. So minus five plus square root of five. So next, the value of y two will become y two is equal to again ten minus five is five plus square root of five divided by two. so this is the value of y2 so the two possible values of x and y are x1 and y1 is equal to the value of x1 is 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so it is 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the value of y1 is 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so this is our first solution and our second solution is x2 comma y2 is equal to now the value of x2 is 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so it is 5 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 and the value of y2 is 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so 5 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so finally these two are our possible solution if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such more videos thank you so much for watching take care see you in the next video bye bye